You're watching your local television network, TSPN. And now the game of the week on our sports show. And this week's game, the Castle Mountain Knights take on the Argonaut Mustangs at Argonaut. It's Mother Load League football with TSPN sportscasters Jim Vinciguera and Frank Halverson. And on camera is Sarah Armstrong. And now the game of the week on TSPN. Jim Vinciguero along with Frank Halverson welcoming you to the 25th season of TSPN's Game of the Week. Tonight we're in Jackson where the Argonaut Mustangs take on the Castlemont Knights. But before we get to tonight's game, we've got homecoming going on here tonight at Argonaut High School in Jackson. There's a bunch of old queens, old kings, or I should say generation of past. Past. past kings and queens. Anyway, and we do Not have old, Jim. Older. Older than high school. So anyway, A lot younger than you. Frank's got the whole script here, so we're going to run uh, a little bit of homecoming for all you people that uh, didn't make it out to the game tonight, and uh, hope you enjoy the little pre-game uh, festivity. And we're going to turn it over to Frank, and we've got some old cars lined up with uh, all kinds of uh, potential kings and queens in them. So let's have at it and see what happens. Well, you know, Jim, it's really exciting to be here for homecoming this year. The first home game that we've had. We've been on the road for four weeks now. And uh, homecoming was always a special time when I was in high school. And I know there's a lot of uh, uh, former uh, Argonaut High School graduates that enjoy coming back. Uh, we're watching the Castlemont team bus drive in right now. And uh, the nice thing tonight, we've got last year's king and queen, uh, Colton Merriman, with Rachel Reby, Rochelle Reby, I should say, our 2012 homecoming king and queen. They'll be the first ones entering, coming around the track uh, in that beautiful red 1959 Chevy uh, driven by Brett Rezus. Colton Merriman and Reby, uh, she's at Arizona. And yeah. I guess she made it back for the weekend. Her dad must have got home, had to go pick her up, I guess. Well, Rachel's out of high school. She's attending or Arizona State, like you said, in Tempe, Arizona. Arizona as an undeclared student and absolutely having a ball from what I understand and Rachel's best memory of homecoming as queen was being able to stand up there with Colton and look at all the family friends and the teachers that have supported her through her years at Argonaut. Her advice for this year's homecoming queen and queen is to be good role models for the underclassmen and to soak up every moment of their senior year because it's an amazing adventure. Rachel feels it's great to come back to Argonaut and see familiar faces. She loves this county and this school especially, and she says it's like one big happy family and that there's no other place she would like to call home. Colton, currently attending American River College and playing football. He's also All working right. hard in the classroom and get out in two years in hopes to going to San Jose State as his future school. And he's happy to be back at this homecoming with his partner, Rachel, and doesn't know what he would have done without her, he says. Colton's advice to the upcoming king and queen is enjoy the nice opportunity in your senior year itself and enjoy every minute because it will go really fast. Next coming in, our first couple, Carissa Cabri and Tyler Bird. They're coming in driving, driven by Mike Heidecker, who's driving a 1966 Mustang convertible. And uh, Carissa says it's an honor to be part of the homecoming court. Uh, she'd like to thank her dad and her mom and her sister, McKenna, her grandparents, aunts, uncles, cousins, her friends since kindergarten, Kara, and her boyfriend friend Brock for supporting her. She'd also like to thank all of her coaches and teachers throughout the years for believing in her. She feels very blessed to have such wonderful friends. She'll miss all the relationships she has built with her friends and teammates, teachers, and coaches, and they've made impacts on her life that she will take with her after she graduates from high school. She plans on attending a four-year university next fall in hopes of becoming a teacher someday, like her mom. Tyler Bird says it means the absolute world to him to be nominated as homecoming king. Tyler would like to thank his mom, dad, and his friend Miles and his homeboys on the team, Kobe, Kara, Carissa, Autumn Kennedy, Obama, God, Mr. Dugan, and Mrs. Floyd. 
Tyler plans on joining the U.S. Army as an infantryman after high school. I've been going to Yale. Next, our next couple coming in is Natalie Gaby and Stephen Casillas, driven by Tommy Trout Sears, who's driving his beautiful 1938 Oldsmobile convertible. Natalie'd like to thank her mom, dad, and brother. What Natalie will miss most about high school is her cheer team. Her best memories were made with those girls. And after high school, Natalie will attend a four-year school and cheer in college. Stephen, he says it's an honor to be on the homecoming court. Stephen would like to thank his parents, Efren and Lourdes. He would also like to thank all of his friends, especially his beautiful girlfriend, Skylar Phillips, and his awesome brother, Gio. Giovanni, that is. I call him Gio. He doesn't know what he would do without those two. Also, his friend, Dirty D. I think he's talking about Dustin Armstrong. What made Stevens High School memorable was his friendships, being able to play football with his buddies. He's going to miss seeing all his friends every day and miss going to football practice after school. And after high school, Stephen hopes to go through the California Highway Patrol Academy and become an officer. And, and I believe he's already attended some uh, a few different things uh, with the Highway Patrol and some junior programs. And uh, he's well on his way to achieving that goal. After high school, Stephen hopes to go through the California Highway Patrol Academy and become an officer. Now here, the next one, Jim, that's a car we've seen for, well, I think, here. every single year we've been here, huh? Listen, I want to tell you, Frank, when I was in high school, Jackson High, I was, uh, they didn't have kings at that time. They had a homecoming queen, but they had escorts. And I escorted uh, one of the uh, homecoming princesses in that same car in 1969, so go figure. Yeah, <laughs> so that, that's, been been a, that's been a mainstay at homecoming yeah. for a number of years, and we're, of course we're talking about John Kirkpatrick and his 1959 Corvette convertible. He's bringing in Kobe Pettis and Tyler Love. You know, Kobe says it would be a great honor to be homecoming queen because being a queen is a big deal. Coaches. And she'd like to thank all her friends, coaches, teammates, and her family. And most importantly, she'd like to thank her mom for being the best mom she could possibly have. And what made Kobe's high school memorable was playing sports. And if you've ever watched this girl play, boy, could she play sports. You know it. Crazy times that she spent with her friends and playing, whether it's basketball or softball. She says spending every day with her friends and being able to argue with Hunkins that she will miss the little things. She's going to scholarship on a scholarship next year to University of California at Berkeley, uh, studying psychology with an intent on being an FBI agent on a softball scholarship that was offered to her after her freshman year. Tyler Love, another great athlete for the school, a three-sport uh, athlete, says he would be extremely honored to be named to join the names of the past kings would be a great experience and I'd like to thank again his coach's friends and especially his family for being so supportive. He plans on Tyler's going to miss seeing all his friends every day and the laughs at lunch and breaks, and he plans on attending a four-year college and then hopes to play baseball and study fire science and eventually become a Cal firefighter following his, in his dad's footsteps. Correct. And lastly, on the far side of the track, we have arriving in a 1933 Model 3 1933 Model 3 Ford truck, is that what that is over there, Jim? Model B, I think, is what it is, not a 3. I think it's Model B. B. Jessica Winship and Tyler Clays, big Tyler Clays. They had to get a truck to haul Tyler. Got the heavy-duty suspension, right? Tyler's a big boy, uh, plays on the football team. Jessica said it's just awesome being on the court and like to thank her family for all their love and support. You know, they asked all of the, all of the court uh, the same questions of what made their high school school memorable. Kind of sounds like it here. And it was her best friend, Sarah Kane, James Kives, Olga Warden, Taylor Usselton. Jessica plans on attending a community college after high school. And, and then there's Big Tyler, both-way starter on the varsity football team. Tyler says it's great to be honored to be nominated by his fellow students to become homecoming queen, but it's definitely another great memory to have. He'd like to thank his mom, Peggy, and his dad, David, for making him who he is today. And he also wants to thank Mr. Landrigan for pushing him to be his best. And what made Tyler's high school memorable was all the great friendships that he made 
Michigan, and of course, football. What he will miss is the small town feeling and leaving all the great people behind. Tyler plans to go off to college, and he wants to play football and eventually be a member of law enforcement. Well, that's your that's your court this that's, year. That's the schedule there. I yeah. Think. So they're as they're pulling in the final cars, and and uh, in a minute here they're going to announce. Uh, uh, the winner of this year is the Queen and the King for 2013 Argonaut Homecoming. F four football players, three Tylers. Yeah, Tyler. Well, I'd put my odds on Tyler. <laughs> yeah, he got Tyler Love, Tyler Clays, and, and uh, what was it, Tyler Bird, I believe. No, maybe not. <laughs> anyway, four football players, and I know this drives Coach Davis crazy. He's not a big fan of homecoming. It's a distraction well, for him and a distraction for his team. But I got to remember. I got to tell you, it's high school, Frank. You know, yeah, exactly. It's high school. There's your court right there in front of you. The four princesses and the four nominees for King, as well as Clean, and last year, Colton Merriman, and now they're going to announce the winner right now. Can I get a drum roll, pound your feet, clap your hands. And now, your 2013 Argonaut High School homecoming king, Tyler Bird. <laughs> Tyler Bird. Homecoming queen, Natalie Gaby. And Natalie is the queen. And Natalie Davey. The announcement was drawn out with a Tyler since there were three Tylers that left everybody hanging a little bit. So there it is, your king and queen, Tyler Bird. You're also your starting quarterback for the varsity team. And Natalie Davey. Gaby, excuse me. Congratulations, Tyler. Okay, that does it for homecoming festivities here at Argonaut tonight. We're going to take a break, a few commercial messages, and we're going to be back with a little bit of uh, pregame hype, and then it's going to be kickoff right after that. So stay tuned. It's the Argonaut Mustangs and the Castlemont Knights. Stay tuned.